Season 1 of The Wheel of Time introduces the Aes Sedai, a group of women able to channel the One Power, which grants them various magical abilities. Years ago, the One Power drove its male channelers mad, leading to a powerful male channeler named Luz Telamon, the mythical dragon, to tear the world apart. Now, many members of the Aes Sedai wish to destroy all male channelers to prevent another world-breaking event. Aes Sedai channeler Moraine believes that the dragon has been reborn, and travels with her loyal companion Canyon land to seek out what she believes is the key to saving the world from the evil incarnate Dark One. Moraine and Lan discover four possible candidates for the Dragon Reborn in a small village known as Two Rivers, Rand, Matt, Perrin, and Egwene. Rand has long harbored a love for Egwene, who wishes instead to become the town's wisdom, or lead healer, who are forbidden to marry. When the Dark One sends his beast, the Trollocs, to attack two rivers and kill the candidates, Moraine helps them fight back. Moraine successfully saves the village and defeats the Trollocs, but during the battle, Perrin accidentally kills his wife Layla, and the village wisdom Nynaeve is captured. The two rivers' villagers flee with Moraine and Lan, heading for the Aes Sedai's home in the White Tower. To evade the pursuing Trollocs, the group enters the cursed ruins of Shatter Logoth. While inside the ruins, the group are separated. Matt finds a mysterious dark dagger and steals it while fleeing with Rand. Perrin and Egwene escape together, while Lan flees with an injured Moraine before running into Nynaeve, who killed her Trolloc captors and is wanting to reunite with her Two Rivers friends. As Rand and Matt continue their journey, the stolen dagger begins to corrupt Matt with its darkness, while Rand discovers that he has inhuman strength. When Rand and Matt are attacked by a Fade, a monstrous follower of the Dark One, they are saved by a powerful and mysterious stranger named Tom, who battles the Fade and allows the two friends to escape. Perrin and Egwene encounter a non-violent group known as Tinkers on their journey, where Perrin discovers that his fits of rage may connect him to wolves, while Egwene discovers that she is a channeler. The duo are captured by the White Cloaks, who want to end all magic, and they violently torture Egwene to reveal her connection to the One Power. Egwene and Perrin use their newfound abilities to fight back against the White Cloaks and escape. Moraine, Lan, and Nynaeve join a group of Aes Sedai who have captured Loghain, a male channeler claiming to be the Dragon Reborn. Loghain escapes his magical binds and attacks the group, injuring them all and mortally wounding Lan. Nynaeve manages to channel a massive amount of magic from the One Power, healing everyone including the nearly dead Lan. The Aes Sedai then combine their strength to permanently sever Loghain from the One Power. Moraine, Lan, Nynaeve, and the Aes Sedai then take Loghain to the city of Tarvalin to stand trial. Swan Sanj, the leader of the Aes Sedai and Moraine's secret lover, sentences Loghain to lifetime imprisonment. Moraine, Lan, and Nynaeve are then reunited with the other two rivers' villagers, who have all successfully made their way to Tarvalin. Moraine helps remove the darkness from Matt and store it once more inside the dagger. With the allies now all healed and reunited, even making a new Ogre ally named Loyal, the group heads off to a magical waygate, which could lead them to the Eye of the World, where they will confront the imprisoned Dark One and discover the true Dragon Reborn. As the group enters the waygate, Matt chooses to stay behind to forge his own path. The group exit the waygate in the city of Faldara, where they take rest before their journey through an evil wasteland known as the Blight to reach the Eye of the World. Throughout their night of rest, Lan and Nynaeve confess their love to each other, and Lan reveals himself to be the heir of a kingdom destroyed by the Blight. Moraine speaks to a seer named Min Farshaw, who reveals that all of the candidates are somehow connected, and Moraine confesses to them that only the true Dragon Reborn would survive the journey to the Eye. Thinking back on his past and his journeys, Rand realizes that he is a channeler and the son of a powerful maiden that died in battle, and gave him to a fellow soldier to raise as his own. Rand determines that he must be the Dragon Reborn, and joins Moraine to leave for the Eye without his friends, sparing them from an inevitable death. As Moraine and Rand attempt to defeat the Dark One, the villain sends an army of Trollocs to attack Faldara. The Trollocs greatly outnumber the Faldara army, killing the city's leader, Lord Algamar. Before the city is completely overrun, Nynaeve and Egwene join a small group of channelers to combine their powers and destroy the Trolloc army. The exertion of power kills every channeler except for Nynaeve and Egwene. Although the city is saved, it is left in chaos. Perrin finds the Horn of Valair, which can summon the greatest warriors from throughout history, but he is betrayed by a man named Padden Fane, who reveals himself to be a dark friend, killing Loyal and stealing the Horn for himself. 
Lorraine gives Rand a Saangriol, an ancient object with the absorbed power of past male channelers, and the two enter the Eye to confront the Dark One. Inside the Eye, the Dark One easily overpowers Moraine and severs her from the One Power, then tries to manipulate Rand into releasing him from his imprisonment by promising a happy future family with Egwene. Rand sees through the trick and uses the Saangriol to further imprison the Dark One, fearing he would go mad like past male channelers. Rand asks Moraine Moraine to tell his friends that he died, before leaving on his own. When Lan finds the powerless Moraine, she warns him that they had not yet fought the last battle against the Dark One, and that the battle was actually just beginning. As the season comes to a close, a fleet of channelers arrive on the western shores, using their powers to generate a tsunami that engulfs everything in its path. 